What's up, everyone? I am Ace10. And I am Decoy. And welcome back to more Breath of the Wild. You can already see what's happening. <laughs> we have a Blood Moon, finally. Uh, we had to go defeat some Guardians and some Lynels, and mm -hmm. um, there is actually someone at the Dueling Peaks stable. Let me bring up the map real quick. Someone at the Dueling Peaks stable right here. Uh, his name is Hino or Hino. You can ask him about the Blood Moon and he will tell you if one is going to appear that night. So luckily yep. he said, yes, there's going to be a Blood Moon. So here we are. Um, before we tackle this shrine, though, let's go ahead and read um, Cass's journal. Oh, oh, that's being a little nosy, isn't uh, it? I leave here a record of my search for the ancient songs of Hyrule. Cass. Well, it's the ancient songs he's been telling him about, uh, or telling us about them, so maybe, you know, we can read Something it. Something scandalous in right. this, okay. The ancient song of Pagos Woods. It seems that a song has been passed down through the ages in the Pagos Woods area of Faron. The song references mythical creatures such as dragons and giant serpents. I wonder if such creatures ever really existed, or perhaps they still exist today. Hmm. I think we've done that one before. Maybe. Yeah? Okay. The ancient song of the West Hyrule Plains. On the south side of the West Hyrule Plains, there is a bridge called Jeddo Bridge. Near this bridge, there are a number of circular rocks with holes in their centers. Yes, yes this sounds familiar. Yeah. Peculiarly enough, these rocks are apparently mentioned in an ancient song from the area. It sounds rather odd, but I hope to find out more about this ancient rock song. <laughs> ancient <laughs> rocks. That's cute. That was good. The ancient song of Rabia Plain. Apparently, Rabia Plain in the northern part of Hateno is home to an ancient song about beasts. Rabia Plain is northeast of Kakariko Village. I'll likely stop by the village during my search for the song. Beasts? What beasts? I'm Maybe the Crown of Bone? Maybe. Okay. The ancient song of Gerudo Tower. I've heard word there is an ancient song about a tall structure called Gerudo Tower. I don't know where this Gerudo Tower is, but mysterious towers have popped up all around Hyrule recently. Oh, well, that was us. Hmm. We did that. The, this Gerudo Tower may be the tower that appeared in the Gerudo region. Okay. The ancient song of Kalora Lake. Apparently there is an ancient song about the giant boulder in Kalora Lake in the Faron region. I hear that area is prone to violent thunderstorms. I need to prepare before I go searching for the song. Yep, sounds like we've done this one. Yep. The ancient song of Horon Lagoon. I hear there is an ancient song about a place in Lanieru called Horon Lagoon. The winds in Horon Lagoon are supposed to be very intense. I may need to travel the area on foot. Yep, that sounds like uh, the one where we had to blow up those rocks and uh, fly through them. Oh, yep. The ancient song of Kitano Bay. It seems there is an ancient song about an oddly shaped stone pillar in the open water of Kitano Bay. I think we did that too, didn't we? It details something that was hidden there before the Great Calamity to be claimed by a lost hero. That one doesn't sound familiar, actually. Uh, well, that wasn't the one with the wind. Oh, that's right. That was I the one with the winds. I'm confusing. Them. Yeah, that might be a separate one. Okay. I'm not sure what's hidden there, but if it's meant for a lost hero, it must be worth a fortune. We might have to go find that. Okay. The ancient song of Washa's Bluff, which is actually where we are right now. I've heard whispers of an ancient song about the night of the red moon, traditionally sung in Washa's Bluff. No one quite knows why the red moon rises or what happens in the span of that night. All right, and that's it for the journal. Hmm. Well, okay, so it seems like we've done just about everything except for that one treasure for the hero, right? Yep. Okay. Anyways, let's do what we came here to do. Um, the pedestal is right down here, and it's already glowing. Cool, we don't have to actually wait until midnight where the cutscene happens. But yeah, the quest said stay or stand here with nothing between you and the night air, so it sounds like we're going to have to get naked. Ooh, naked. All right. A little, a little Link uh, took us. Okay. <laughs> I don't know whatever ancient ritual this is, but I'm all for it. Red blood moon and be naked? That sounds <laughs> kind of pagan. Mm-hmm, okay. All right, and that will complete our shrine quest under a red moon and make the Mija Roki shrine up here. Let's go ahead and head inside. And we'll see you guys inside. Okay, and this is a modest test of strength, not a blessing. Okay. Mm. Well, let's put on something. <laughs> Some clothes. I don't want to be... Oh! <laughs> I don't want to be immodest. Uh, <laughs> for the modest good. test of strength. That was good. I wonder if that was intentional. Hmm. For, them to, for there to be a modest test of strength. I doubt it. I doubt it. I think it was more along the lines of blessing, modest, mm -hmm. major. 
minor. Right. Anyway, uh, let's see. I actually broke a bunch of guardian weapons. No. Because uh, I went guardian farming in an effort to get the blood moon to show up, so. Uh, let's use a couple of other weapons I found along the way. Okay, let's see if I can do my back flip. Alright, nice. I'm, I'm okay. I think I have the timing down on that. Sometimes I uh, miss that occasionally. Right, these guys are not any challenge whatsoever. Alright. Alright, we'll just do this instead. <laughs> Oof. Cool, there goes one weapon. Uh, we'll switch to the Savage Life Sword. Oh yeah. I love this thing. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. And I have my uh, Royal Guards bow equipped as well. It's a low durability bow, but it has a durability up bonus. So hopefully that cancels each other out. Yeah, right? That, hmm. Okay. Got room for a sword and not a shield. That's fine. Okay, and that'll do it for this shrine. Not too bad at all. You left all these pretty pillars still standing. That's fine. <laughs> um, well, anyways, let me pull up the map real quick to show you where we're going to go next. Uh, so I think I mentioned in the last episode we're going to head to Kakarika Village. Uh, there is one shrine along the way, along Laneru Road, that we have mm. not gotten yet. Mm -hmm. So um, after we get done with this shrine, I'll see you in the uh, Laneru Road East Gate, which is right over there. That'll Watch out be for that Lionel over there. Too. There is a Lionel over there. You're right, but I think it might be just like a blue Lionel or a yeah. black maned Lionel, maybe, yeah, I think or white maned right. Lionel, which is like the black version of a Lionel. Cool. We got a frost blade from there. We have room for it, so that's nice. All right, we will see you guys at the Lanayru Road. Alrighty, everyone, we are back, mm -hmm. uh, coming down from Mount Leiru. It's a pretty convenient spot to go. And, yep, there's our Lionel. I think it's a silver Lionel. I think it is. I think uh, it might have been... Why did I been... think it was blue? Well, early in the game, it's that color. Maybe that's what it but is. But I think, yeah. like... Oh, he the... sees you. Yeah. The more we do in the game, the more they upgrade to harder levels. So we're going to leave him alone. We fought enough Lionels lately. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> yep. All right, but anyways, we're finally here at the Lanayru Road. Uh, let's, uh, well, since it's a road, we may as well grab our motorcycle. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. And our shrine is going to be kind of well hidden. Uh, our sensor is probably going to alert us to it. Does he have a good weapon? Not really. No. Okay. We'll just ignore him then. Oh, yeah, last time we were here, I think um, I showed off where... Nadro was. Oh, yep. The ice dragon. Uh, I'm gonna jump back on the bike. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's grab a gale. Alright, and our shrine is going to be right behind that waterfall. Yep. Kind of similar to one in Pharaon. I think there was a. Yeah, there yeah, was a, one a shrine. Um, this this is the only the clue, though, that, that it's here. Yeah, is there's. It you can see that glow. Yep. Yeah, but uh, Pharaon had a very similar one as well that was behind a waterfall. And there was a little tunnel to the right of that one as well. Yeah, uh, yes. There we go. So yeah, it's not too hard to find. Cool. The Dao Nea Shrine. I think I pronounced that correctly. Let's head inside. Okay, inside the shrine is three boxes. All right. Well, there's something moving over there on the right side. A big pressure switch in the middle. Three boxes, huh? Let's take a look around here real quick. Oh, there's a chest up there. Let's see. It looks metallic. Let's see what's inside. Cool, Azura sword. And we don't have room for so, Oh, there's another there's another one down there. Okay. 
Let's see. And there's this platform that's moving. Let's see if we can grab this chest real quick. Oh, I got it. Yes. Nice. All right. Save a little bit of time there. I don't think those three chests are heavy enough to trip that switch yet. You don't think so? Could, could that be, be what the three boxes ta is talking about, though? Maybe. The three chests, three boxes? I could be wrong, but it might be. It's interesting that there is three in such close proximity. Hmm. Okay. And they're all made of metal, so they might be heavy. Heavy enough. Yeah. You think? Maybe. Uh, yep. Oh, it works. Okay. Nice. And... Oh, there's four boxes. <laughs> right? Well, at least, at least four. Uh, I bet you that's to looks go up like there. we might. Yeah, we might be able to use this to get up to the top. Perhaps. Let's find out. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah, to get up onto that. Okay, looks like we gotta get up there. So, hmm. Hopefully, this is positioned okay. Looks like it should be just a little hop what? behind you or nice. there. Oh, that works. Okay. And there's the end of the shrine. All right, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I said three boxes, but I counted four. There were four. That's mm. fine. <laughs> Alrighty, let's grab our spirit orb and go back up to ground level. Cool. With that, let's continue heading back to the road, which I think is that way, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a little turned around here. Okay. So Kakariko Village should be to the west of us, and that's going to be our next stop. Let's find out what that ancient orb is all about. An Impa's house. Oh, yes. If she'll let you take it. She's yeah. been rather protective of that thing. Uh, perhaps. I'm not sure if we've actually tried to grab it or not, but maybe. Uh, let's do this real quick. <laughs> we'll make it easy to get across here. You just want to get over to the road so you can pull the bike out again. Well, yeah, because it's the fastest way that, you know, we can get from place to place. Other than fast travel, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, but then you don't hear the pretty music. It's not like riding a horse or walking along. You still hear the music when you're on the bike. Yeah, but you get that... that... Yeah, well, I know. It's a little more interesting than just fast traveling everywhere. That's true, it is. Because you can scare all the enemies and then blow past them. Yep. And plus that means there's less, less editing I have to do <laughs> afterwards. This is true. <laughs> okay. Ooh, check out those three trees up there. I wonder if we've... I think we've been there. I could I... be wrong. Let's see, because the map should show if we've gotten a seed. Ooh. I don't know what his deal is. He might be a Yiga clan traveler. I wouldn't talk to him. Yeah. Don't talk to strangers, kids. <laughs> Unless they have really good candy. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> or free Wi-Fi. Oh, free Wi-Fi. That's what it is now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's uh, let's get this Korok real quick. Why not? I mean, we're probably not going to get up to 45 seeds that Hestu needs in order for us to get our next weapon slot. Mm. But I do want to show off a quick trick that I discovered by a speedrunner by the name of Zant. Shout out to Zant. I know we've actually shouted him out a couple times. Uh, so we've done one of these kind of recently um, where you've got the um, apples... And basically, you need to knock down every other apple. Take out your stasis rune and freeze. Freeze the one apple that needs to stay there. And if you knock down the tree, yeah. that apple stays where it's supposed to. And then the Korok appears. That, that amazed me when I saw that. I'm like, oh, that's really easy. Anyway. It works. And then you get an apple at the end. Yep. Another one. <laughs> and if you want some wood... Then you can get some wood too. Poor apple tree. Speaking of which, we're going to need a lot of wood soon for something. Uh oh. I'm not going to say what yet, but it is something that we're going to do before we call it like hmm. the, before we're done with wood the main needs series. needs lots of wood. Uh, well, I'll let you think about that for a second. Okay. Anyway, but don't give it away, decoy. Don't give. Okay. No. I won't give it away. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the great fairy's here too. Let's see. Didn't we say we we're gonna look at um, upgrading some armor pieces? Yeah, I don't remember which ones though. Okay, let's see. Maybe the barbarian armor. Barbarian armor. I think I mentioned about like seeing what mm. materials the barbarian armor needs. Ah. So let's see. Uh, well, we can upgrade this stuff. Oh, we have red chew jelly. That's All right. why. Okay. Uh, that requires white chew chew jelly. I see a theme here. <laughs> Yellow chew chew jelly. Oh, for the shock resistant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, what we really came here for was the barbarian helm. Okay, so it needs lionel horns. 
Okay. And it only needs one Lionel horn really? for each one. Okay. Um, seems, well, Lionels are pretty hard to beat, so. That's right. I think um, eventually you'll need, I think they have Lionel hooves as well. Lionel hooves and the Lionel guts. I think eventually you'll need to get the other Lionel parts that might be harder to get. In That's order when to you just it. go to Kilton and buy it. I don't know if you can buy Lionel parts from Kilton, and we haven't met Kilton yet in this. <gasps> Wait, what? We, we haven't, haven't met Kilton oh yet. Oh my no. goodness! So maybe, maybe we'll go ahead and check Shout out. Shout out to Kilton. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, but our next stop is going to be Impa's house. So let's drop on in while the game lags. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Okay. Impa, I love your house. Yes, it's really neat. Okay, well, there's the orb. Where's Paya? Let's see. She should be around here somewhere. Ah. Hmm. That Chica heirloom has been guarded by our tribe for generations. I must request that you not touch it. Even for an esteemed guest such as yourself, there are certain rules that must be respected. All right, fine. I guess Valley's Gale is now ready. I guess we're not gonna get our hands on that anytime soon. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, maybe Pi is up here. I think this is her. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, good. careful. Yeah, let's not bother her. I guess. All right. Anyways, in Impa's house, there should be a book somewhere. I think it's down here. Let's take a look at that. The Journal of Various Worries. Okay. okay. Well, my wife left me today. The last thing she said to me was, what's more important, the cuckoos or me? Cuckoos, of course. I chose the cuckoos. The bowmaster. Yikes. Okay. A painter unfamiliar to any of us has arrived in the village. He claims he is searching for the Great Fairy's Fountain, but that's where, near where the uh, village's spirit protector resides. Hmm. We must make sure the outsider doesn't learn of the location of the fountain or the two shrines near it. Two shrines? Well, we know of one. Yeah. Okay. Anonymous father of two. Okay. That new guy in town looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. I hope he comes by and knocks an arrow for me. It's been way too long. Hmm. The lonely arrow girl. Okay. I don't, I'm not sure I got that pun, but okay. <laughs> day in, day out, I'm outside barking people into the shop. I don't mind, really. It's good money, and busying myself helps to numb the pain. But the only thing that really helps me feel better is walking among the fireflies. Unfortunately, we've now been asked to not walk around at night because it's dangerous. I don't know if I, or how I can cope without the fireflies, struggling shop girl. There is a precious heirloom that has been passed down throughout my family for generations. That's the heirloom we need to get our hands okay. on. Recently, I've begun to hear voices telling me that the heirloom has an important destiny. It's going to happen soon. It makes me nervous, but I can feel it in my bones. Papaya. Okay. So a fruit's been writing in the book. <laughs> That's her name, Papaya, even though she goes by Paya. So... The Journal of Various Worries. It seems like everyone has a little bit of an issue that they are dealing with here in Kakarika Village. And the trick to getting our hands on that, uh, what is it, ancient orb. orb, ancient heirloom, is going to be to take care of everyone's various worries. So. It sounds like a lot of drama. So let's yeah. go ahead and see if we can help with that. I can't remember the last time we had a customer in here. Young folks in this village don't have much use for a bow. It's a thrill to see a young lad like you come into the shop. Well, don't mind me. Take your time looking around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's say goodbye to her for now. But let's see. She's saying something else. Kid, you've lifted my spirit so high I can barely contain myself. I even miss my husband at the moment. Just a tiny bit. Yikes. Okay. Did we actually get a quest from her? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we have... It would be a side quest. And we've gotten a lot of side quests recently. So let's see. We have a lot of them in our... Uh... <laughs> in our list here. I don't think so. I don't see one from Kakariko Village. Let's talk to her again. Ma? That's right, my good man. I knew it the moment I saw you. <laughs> I had you figured for one heck of an archer, and I'm head over heels for a fine slice of man that can use a bow. <laughs> she sounds like the lonely arrow girl, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. So how about it? Why not take up that bow and show me something special? All right, sure, ah. why not? I like your attitude. All you gotta do is light the torches by the goddess statue. Think you're up to the challenge? All right, sure, Ma? let's do it. The thought of a young hunk drawing a bow just makes my day. Um, All right. Yeah. We, then we get the Arrows of Burning Heat side quest. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So let's take care of all of these people's various worries, shall we? All right. So um, these these lanterns were definitely lit the last time uh, we were here. But they seem to have gone or extinguished themselves. All right. But no problem. We'll go ahead and light them all. Watch out, Cuckoo. Yeah, I don't want to set him on fire. 
I think, you know what, the Royal Guards Bell shoots pretty straight, and I think it has, like, a quick shot bonus on it. Like, it doesn't say that it has a quick shot bonus, but it just feels like this bow shoots a lot faster than other bows. So I wonder... It does shoot pretty fast. Yeah. The only thing about it is got its low durability, so... Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go talk to Lonely Arrow Girl again. Done already? Yeah, it didn't take us very long. Hey, kid. I saw you. You were amazing. Boy, what a shot in the heart that was. My husband's a fine archer himself, but we're living apart right now. This feeling, it's been so, so long. Oh. I'm so excited right now. That really was something special to see. In fact, here, a token of my thanks. Okay. Well, that's kind of a nice mm. reward. If only my husband hadn't become obsessed with Cuckoos and had kept up with his archery skills. If only. Yikes. Is archery skills a euphemism for something else? I don't know. There was a lot of, <laughs> lot of like, double entendre there. Yeah, she was a little excited about us, right? Well, anyway, um, hmm. Apparently her husband is into cuckoos, right? Let's see, and look at that. There's a lot of cuckoos in here. Uh, it counts four so far. Let's see, is there a, is there anyone in here? No one? Okay. Yeah. Maybe the guy that's obsessed with cuckoos, uh, this is his house. Let's uh, look around for a little bit and see if we can find him. Hmm. Let's see. I see some other people around around the village. I think it's that guy. He's not. There's someone else that's running around. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see the guy. Yeah, I figured he'd be out of this house, but maybe not. Is that him there? No, that was the. Um... Nope. That's not them. I wonder if he was in the house or not, but maybe. I didn't see him in here. It's interesting how, like, inside the house there's, like, a little door for the, uh, Kugos to go in and out. It's a little interesting. Anyways. Yeah, you know, when you get your favorite pet, you get your favorite pet. I guess so. Well, uh, let's run around the village a little bit longer. I don't see where he is, but what he wants you to do is, uh, there's a bunch of these Kugos around the village. And he wants you to uh, collect all of them and put them back in uh, in the fence there. So we're gonna just do that. <laughs> That's interesting. Can't find him. Yeah, I'm not sure. Right there. I'm not sure where he is, and he has to actually give us the quest to do this. But let's go ahead and collect the the chickens, and maybe he'll be um, maybe he will uh, get us what we need. There's Pekengo. Uh His entry was also in the journal of various mm -hmm. worries. Uh, he was looking for the. What was it? Actually, is this is this the guy? This might be the guy. Ooh. Let's find out. I must be going soon. They'll be waiting for me, my little ones. Okay. Um, was it the cuckoos he's talking about? I, I think know. so. Sir, Sir Link, my cuckoos. My precious cuckoos. They haven't come home yet. Now that my wife wants nothing to do with me, my cuckoos are my only emotional support. Oh, gosh. Talk about an emotional support animal. Right? Whoa, what do I do? Ah! Well, we already started finding them, but let's go find the rest. Really? Thank you so much. I have ten to cuckoos total. Hopefully, you'll be able to find them all. Hmm. All right, well, let's see how many. <laughs> That'll give us Flum the Coop side quest. Let's see. How many do we have? Five. All right, and hopefully they didn't reset. No, I see five. Five? Okay. Okay. I can't remember how many uh, that there are starting, like, in there. I thought there were four starting in there, but I guess not. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, find where the rest of these cuckoos are. One of them likes to hide up here where the shrine is. There we go. Yeah, luckily we can kind of use this as a sort of a paraglider. <laughs> Which is kind of nice. There we go. Actually, what we can do is, if you pull your camera out, you can take a picture of a cuckoo. Huh. And you can use your Sheikah sensor to, to help you track find... Down. Yep, yep. To help you find where the other cuckoos are. It should be a bunch up here to the right. Yeah, there are a couple sort of in the far reaches of the village. Uh, the only problem with the Sheikah sensor, though, is um, it might point you to where the ones you've collected already are. So it can make it a little tricky. Let's see. Oh, there's one over here. Okay. And if memory serves, there tends to be one that is in this... I think these are plum trees. And if she's standing outside, she's going to get mad at you if you go in her plum tree. So you have to, I think, wait until nighttime. 
if I remember correctly, before he can get that Kuko. But for right now, let's go ahead and get as many of them as we can. Alright, that should be seven? I think so. Okay. Yeah. I know one is like, uh, one likes to be on top of a building. I forget which one. I think it's, I almost think it's, yeah, it's that one. Okay. Let's get up here. There we go. Alright, so that'll leave the one in the plum tree farm, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Um, and then there's another one that's somewhere else. Let's do a quick count to make sure. Was that eight? Yeah, there's eight of them in there now. Okay. I think there might be one way in the back. So let's head as far back as we can. Unless that was the one far in the back. Let's see, there she is. Maybe, yeah. like, waiting early in the morning. Yeah, she'll get mad at us. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hush up and go drink some sake. <laughs> these plum trees, I've been raising them my whole life. They've grown as I've grown. They're a part of me. When these trees eventually rot and fall away, so will I. That's why I've painstakingly raised them with all the love I can muster. Ah. So long as I'm around, there's no way I'll let you mess with my plum garden. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to wait until she goes and drinks some sake, apparently, as Decoy <laughs> mentioned. Okay, this might be the very edge of the village here, so... Let's, uh... Head back here. I don't think there's another cuckoo that's on top of the house. So, oh, there's one on top of here. Okay, that's where I thought the last one was. Perfect. Alright, so that just leaves the one in the plum tree garden. So I think if we wait by... There's a uh, campfire. As long as we wait by there, then we'll be able to uh, get there without her seeing. I'm hoping. Yeah. And then from there, let's see, what other Journal of Various Worries were there? Oh, someone about fireflies. Okay, so we'll have to, we'll have to figure out what the fireflies are all about. All right, so let's wait until nighttime. I think that's when the plum lady goes away. Okay. I, I, don't, I forgot her name when we were talking to her. So I'll just call her the plum lady. Uh, cranky lady. Oop, and it's raining, yikes. Okay, well maybe she'll be inside now, now that it's raining. Okay, and she was up here somewhere, I think. Here's the pumpkins. Okay, is she gone? I think so. Nice, okay, now we can go in here unencumbered. Perfect. Alright, and then there was someone else that was worried about fireflies, and I think that might be the last one, right? I think so. We lit the lanterns, we got the picture of the fairy fountain, and here's the cuckoos. Alright. Cool. Uh, once it says that your side quest is updated, I think that means you found all ten. Link, my cuckoos, my sweet little baby cuckoos. They're all back! Ooh. Thank you so much. Really, I could never thank you enough. This isn't much, but I insist you take it. <gasps> There's that purple rupee I was looking nice. for. <laughs> I'm ready to get out there again. Though I do wish my wife would come back to me, just like my cuckoos did. All right, that'll complete our flown the coop side quest. All right, so the um, the one Sheikah woman who was talking about wanting to see fireflies, uh, she was mentioning about barking outside of the shop all day. That's uh, she was actually here uh, in the earlier part of the day, and she likes uh, her house is right up here. I think this might be it, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go in here. I think we need to wait for her to go inside her house at nighttime. Uh, that's not her. She's sitting down on a chair. Uh, so let's see. I thought it was that house, but it's not. Uh, let's look around a little bit more. That's where the actual shop is, the armor shop. I think, right? Yep, that's where the armor shop is. So yeah, let's head up a little bit more. It might be a different house that I'm thinking of. Hmm. Although I don't think it was this far back in the village, so... It might be late enough where she's sleeping. Oh, here she is. Okay, cool. Lasley is her name. Aww. Oh, they say the roads are dangerous at night, so I have to come straight home without searching for fireflies. I miss them so much in the night sky. Now it's the same tired thing every night. I'm so sick of it. If only the fireflies would come to play here so I could still see them. Hmm. 
Okay, so she's looking for sunset fireflies, and there are plenty of sunset fireflies around Kakarika Village. So if you haven't gotten any yet, just go ahead and sneak around. Uh, luckily, we have five, and five is all we need for this. So go ahead and grab all five, and then hit the A button to drop them, and they'll kind of fly around the room. And eventually she'll say something. <laughs> oh, wow, look at these fireflies! Thank you, this is all I have to offer, but please accept it with my gratitude. Alright, another purple rupee, not bad. This is paying off. Yeah, right? They glow so prettily, it's magical. Ooh, what should we say? You're pretty too, or they don't live long? Uh, she's pretty too. Okay, you're pretty too. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee, thanks. Alright. That's right. it? Alright, well, we don't really have any use for the fireflies, so we'll just leave them here. Why not? We'll let her be happy. Right? <laughs> Anyway, so that should take care of all of these side quests, and the one main quest that we took care of a long time ago, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, had us take a picture of the Great Fairy Fountain, or Pekango, that should have Down taken... Down here by the, by the pathway leading up to... Pekango? Yeah, he's over here with this, or he should be over there. Yeah. Alright. Yep, and as soon as these guys are have these speech bubbles, that means that is that another it's blood a moon? Blood moon. What? Wow. I don't know how that's possible, but let's go ahead and talk to these guys. Ugh. Someone snuck in and stole Lady Paya's most prized possession. I'm sure Lady Paya would feel a little more at ease if she saw Master Link's face. All right. Mm. And as the creepy music is playing, that's mm -hmm. actually pretty fitting. Link, we were standing guard the whole time, and yet this awful thing still happened. Mm. How could we have let someone sneak right past us? Okay. You didn't. Well, let's see what's up with this. Maybe because we were inside of the shrine when the blood moon happened? Maybe? Maybe that's why, and we didn't see the cutscene? That could be why this is happening. I think that might be why, because we were inside of a shrine. It anyway. could be. That's fine. Well, let's go ahead inside and talk to Paya and see if we can help ease her worries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, no. That crying sound oh, gets me every time. Link. <laughs> I swear I only took my eyes off of it for a second. What should I, what should I do? Uh, what's happening? The Sheikah heirloom. The heirloom has been stolen. And just when I had finally discovered the heirloom secret. Uh-oh. Yikes. Oh. The hero as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. Paya thinks the hero as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom is you. So she, she stayed up all night researching the heirloom. She came to the conclusion that the blessing of antiquity refers to one of those ancient shrines, and that the heirloom is the key to that uh, that opens the shrine. And just before we were able to tell you this, the thing is stolen. Hmm. I'd been cleaning the heirloom regularly every day from morning to dusk. Someone must have stolen it during the deepest hour of the night when the blood moon struck. This place is off limits to outsiders, and no one from the village would do such a thing, would they? Yikes. Well, the blood moon doesn't have anything to do with it. That was just a coincidence. Yep. But it was kind of nice how there was a blood moon happening. Someone with evil intent came into the sacred place. I'm glad grandmother is safe, but I still feel so violated. Well, put mm. locks on your doors. <laughs> Link, Paya is afraid that the thief may still be nearby. Would you please stay by her side today? All Ooh. right. What are we going to do with that? <laughs> Paya. Yikes. Master Link, thank you for staying by my side for the whole day. I see now that crying and feeling scared won't help us get the heirloom back. I checked with Dorian and Kato, but they said they didn't see anyone other than villagers around. Mm. I'll try again to remember all I can about the night the heirloom was stolen, but the thief may still be hiding nearby. I have a bad feeling. If you spot any suspicious movement at night, don't approach. <laughs> okay. So it's still kind of nighttime. Well, the sun's kind of setting right now. Uh, so let's head back outside. I think it's raining still. Hopefully it should stop raining soon. But yeah, as soon as we head outside, um, people are going to start acting a little suspiciously. Let's see. I think Plum Lady might act suspiciously too. Let's see. But um, I think Pekango is actually not suspicious, which is interesting. Because everyone else seems suspicious of him since he's like a newcomer of the village. Um, but eventually, if we wait just a couple of more minutes, we're going to start seeing some people kind of 
I don't know, skulking around. All right, so let's kind of walk around here for a little bit. I'll have to wait a couple of minutes anyway for people to start. Uh, so let's see. Anyway, we know who the real perpet or perpetrator. Yep. Yeah. Well, we know who the real perpetrator is, so we're gonna wait until he or she starts uh, going in the direction that they need to go in. I think even Lasley does something. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna cut real quick until people start acting suspiciously. We'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so we can already see our first suspect, shall we say? <laughs> start heading over this way. Nobody knows. You know what? Since we're having to sneak around, and since we're in Kakariga Village, why don't we put the sheep on? Ooh, yes. We haven't worn this in a while. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we should even crouch. There we go. Nah. Yeah, we might not even have to. It might be quiet enough. I wonder if anyone knows. Knows about what? Hmm. Was she the one that stole the heirloom? Phew. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't get seen there. This sort of reminds me of, um, there's a moment in The Wind Waker where I think, I think are on, what was that big island called? Windfall Island, I think? I don't remember not, the names of the islands. I'm not one. sure, but uh, basically you had to sneak behind someone, so that kind of reminds me of this. Anyway, she seems to have stopped. Is this where she buried the heirloom? Let's confront her. Ah! ah. <laughs> I guess I can't keep it a secret any longer. Not even Clarine knows, the shopkeeper. Hmm. This is where the love of my life sleeps. No other guy has been able to stack up. He passed a long time ago, but I come here every now and then to be with him. What'd you do with the heirloom? <laughs> we know you stole it. That's right. Hmm. Heirloom? You mean that thing in Empa's house? Yeah. Hmm. What? Why would I steal something like uh... that? Are you, are you following me because you think I'm a suspect? Yep. Uh, unfortunately, yes, we are. Ah! How awful of you. All right, well, maybe she wasn't the one that stole it. Okay. That's really sad, though. Hmm. Her love is... That must be like a graveyard out there. Maybe? Yeah. I think we actually walked past that a while ago. Many, many episodes ago, we walked past that. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Check that out, one of the There's guards is gone. Guard. Yeah, weren't there two there before? Yep. Okay, interesting. Uh, oh, is that him? Uh, is that the guard? That... Might be, or that's the sh No, that was the shopkeeper we just talked to. Yeah, who's that? It's gotta be the guard. No, La well, Leslie was the one that was outside of the... Yep. Yeah. How could they? How could they what? Okay, he's starting to act a little suspicious too. Interesting. Hmm. All right, let's find out. And he's I think going up the road to the Great Fairy Fountain. Yeah, that is the direction he's going. I think Plum Lady is back there. Uh, we won't talk to her, I guess, because we're following this guy. Or I think she has something funny too if you talk to her. Hmm. Okay, let's be sneaky. All right. Where is this guy going? Hmm. Oh, there's oh. someone else looking out. Oh yeah, there is. Interesting. I wonder... Alright, I don't know what's up with that. Hmm, well he's heading up to where the... Yeah, the fountain is, and where the other shrine was, too. And remember, was it the Journal of Various Worries that said there were two shrines up here? Uh, I think so. So, okay. If he's heading to where the other shrine might be, then yeah, maybe he's the guy that has the heirloom. Maybe he's trying to figure out the secret. Hmm... But he's going off a different way. Yeah, right? Yeah, because the fairy fountain's that way. Okay. Alright, where is this guy going? Well, he's wandering out. Yeah, it's a quite a quite a ways from the village. See, and I don't think we've ever really been here before. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this has to be, he has to be the one that stole it. Uh-oh. Good thing we have the, uh, Shika armor on. <laughs> Must be imagining things. Yeah, you're just imagining things. Keep going forward. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Don't, 
get caught. Don't get caught. Let's back away a little bit. Okay. Maybe if you get too close, he starts getting suspicious. Show yourself. All right. Well, I mean, we've been following you the whole way, so... Hmm. I know you're there. Show yourself. Oh, this guy. You don't have to shout. I'm right here. So you're the one who stole the heirloom. Heh, <laughs> such anger. It seems this thing is truly special to the fools of this village. Why would you steal it? Don't play dumb, Dorian. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you decided to leave the organization. You forfeited your life the moment you left. You did well to tell us about the heirloom. Unfortunately, your usefulness has come to an end, as must you. But first... Uh -oh. It appears we have an audience for my fallen master, Master Koga. What a pushover. All right, well, these guys are not as strong as they are in the Yiga clan hideout, so <laughs> let's go ahead and take him on. All right, come on, dude, swing at me. All right, not like that. Whatever. These guys aren't too strong. All right, fine. That's, that works. Oh, his wind cleaver disappeared. I was gonna pick it up. Oh well. <laughs> I don't know if I have room for it or not. Oh. I can't believe I was being followed. I'm sure you figured it out, but all of this is my fault. There's no point in trying to hide it. Oh. I am a member of the Yiga clan. Or I used to be, anyway. But then I met the most incredible woman who blessed me with two amazing children. And so I tried to change my ways, tried to leave the clan. Oh. But the Yiga. They took my wife's life as punishment. I couldn't let them hurt my children, so I used my position as gatekeeper to gather information for the Yiga. Mm. I told them about you and about the village in exchange for safety. Uh. But my grief over losing my wife consumed me, and I finally decided to cut ties with the Yiga completely. I decided I could protect my children from the Yiga. I wasn't afraid of them. But the Yiga are pure evil. They told me that they would kill both Impa and Paya if I didn't play along. Paya figured out that this heirloom is the key to opening an ancient shrine. We weren't able to make it work, but Paya thinks that maybe you can. Paya and all of us are devoted to helping you in your quest. Now, please restore this heirloom to its pedestal. All right, will do, Mr. Dorian. And, uh, yeah. There you go. That's a hell of a secret. Mm -hmm. The shrine! So the heirloom was the key to opening the shrine. Incredible. Master Link, I... I'm very sorry for all of this. I know it's a selfish request, but do you think you could keep what really happened a secret? I truly don't deserve mercy, but I don't want my children, Coco and Katla, to suffer anymore. I know it doesn't make up for what I've done, but I pledge to protect the village and my family from now on, no matter the cost. Alright, secret safe with us, Dorian. Alright, so that'll complete our stolen heirloom shrine quest, and the Lakna Roki shrine has appeared before our eyes. Let's see what's inside this one. Okay, fortunately for us, it's just a blessing, which is fine by me because the amount of work it took to do this, to get to this <laughs> point, was nuts. This one's pretty intense. Absolutely. And um, inside here is going to be a weapon, and we don't have room for it, and there's nothing that I really want to drop, so we'll just leave it here. We might pick it up later. Who knows? But it'll be an edge of duality with an attack up bonus. Wow. Wow, of 18. Jeez. That's pretty nice. All right, we'll leave it in here. We might grab it later, but let's go ahead and get our spirit orb, and we will see you guys back outside. Oh, 
Okay, and that'll do it for the Lakna Roki Shrine, as well as this episode. Such a peaceful night here, right outside of Kakariko Village, isn't it? It is. Yeah, now that we've finally uh, taken care of all the journals of various worries, all the entries in there, we've taken care of them all. Pretty nice. But, uh, we still have some more shrines to do, so our journey is not over yet. <laughs> in the next episode, we are going to head to the southeast side of the map, right over oh, here. It's been a long time coming, yes. but we're going to head over to Eventide Island. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm excited about that. How about you, Decoy? Yes, I do enjoy that one. Nice. Okay, well, that'll do it for this one. I have been Ace-10. And I've been Decoy. Don't forget to have fun. That's right. We will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.